Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, I'm just blown away by how many people have watched my first couple of videos and I think it's awesome. Um, I have like 20 subscribers so thank you guys so much. Um, it's just a true blessing to have other people to go through this journey of TTC with um, and just not feel so alone. And so I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Um, the sweet comments and um, yeah, just all the love that I feel so far. And so I'm so excited to update you guys. I've been wanting to do this all week long. And so I'm going to try to get this done as soon as possible. Um, I have to go to work soon, um, which is why I'm in my Anytime Fitness shirt. And um, yeah, so I'm going to get this done as soon as possible. Um, I want to update you guys on um, how I feel so far on the Clomid. This is my first cycle taking it, and I'm so excited. And I also want to do the TTC tag. So I'm going to try to get both of those done as quickly as possible. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start the tag. The first question in the tag is, what is your name? My name is Sarah. The second question, how old are you? I am 27. I will be 28 in January, uh, January 3rd. So uh, let's see. Question three, what is your marital status? I am married. I have been married for a little bit over a year. Our um, anniversary is October 20th. So that's exciting. We just celebrate our one year anniversary. Question four, what is your significant other's name and how old are they? My husband's name is Barry and he is 35 years old. Um, how long have you been TTC? Question number five. Uh, we have been TTCing since we got married. So it's been I think this is our 13th cycle, so yay. Um, question six, what number child will this be? This will be our first child together and first child in general. <laughs> uh, um, question seven, what medical issues, if any, do you have that might affect TTC? Um, let's see. We don't have any medical issues so far that we know of. Um, yeah, my husband checked out good. And so far, everything with me, my doctor said, is good to go. So crossing our fingers, hopefully everything is good. Um, question number eight, are there any medications or treatments that you're taking for infertility? Uh, as you know, if you have seen my other two videos, I am taking Clomid this cycle, um, which I'm very much excited for. I was uh, going to start taking Clomid, I think it was back in April, but... Um, we got pregnant that cycle, so I did not take it, obviously, back then, um, but we did miscarry at about seven weeks, which was June 1st, we miscarried, so we kind of got back on track with my cycles, and we've been trying again for about another, uh, I think it's been four cycles since our miscarriage that we've been trying. So, um, let's see, number nine, do you use OPKs? Yes, I do use OPKs. And how many do you keep in stock at all times? Um, I just keep usually, I don't know, about a month supply. I, I try to buy the two month supply of the Clear Blue Digital. That way I always have some on hand because if not, then uh, I, I, I hate not having any in stock, I guess. So um, yeah, I probably have about 10 to 12 right now. Number 10, are you crazy about taking pregnancy tests? Um, I would say guilty. Um, I, I'm a little bit crazy with pregnancy tests. It depends on the cycle and kind of where I'm at that cycle. Some months I'm all in TTC and that's like my number one focus. Some months I have a better balance and so it just depends honestly. But if I have the cheapy internet tests, then yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start te testing way too early. Um, let's see, so question 11 is, how many tests do you really have in that cabinet? I believe I have probably the same as my OPKs, about 10 to 12. So 10 to 12, um, cheapy tests, no expensive tests. I will not buy those yet, <laughs> at least for this cycle. Uh, how many times a day do you test? I will test once a day and only in the morning. If I get that negative test, um, I'm not going to test again. So just once a day. And question 13, what's the earliest DPO you have started testing? 
I think it was last cycle, I started at like six or seven DPO. So way too soon. I was so eager and so optimistic last cycle that we had just got it all right. And so, yeah, uh, way too soon. So I try to wait until 10, 11, 12, 13, but that doesn't always happen. Uh, question 14 is, do you live on YouTube watching live pregnancy tests for the DPO you are? Um, yes and no. Last cycle I did this and I immediately regret it. That is why I tested on cycle day seven, which is so early, way too soon. Um, uh, because of course I saw live, you know, positive pregnancy tests. So I'm not going to do that this cycle. Um, it'll just make you crazy. So I'm going to try not to do that. Try. Try is always the, the key word there. Uh, question 15 is, has your significant other threatened to hide all the tests in the house? If you don't stop bugging them to look at your peed on stick, trying to convince them there's a second line. Um, no, my husband has not tried to um, hide my test. I think I have shown him two pregnancy tests uh, looking for a second line. And on both, there was a second line. So I guess that makes me feel better that I'm not crazy. Um, the first one was our positive test back in May. I think, we, yeah, back in May. And the second one was last cycle when I got a positive, I guess it was an evaporation line. So I should have known better. It was way past the time that it says, but we all look. So I was convinced I was pregnant, obviously. And I think I convinced him too, which wasn't good. <laughs> Oops. Um, question 16, do you wait until a missed period to start taking tests? Absolutely not. That would make too much sense. Uh, so no, I don't. 17, does everyone in your family and friends know that you're TTCing? Um, yeah, probably most of our family and uh, close friends know just because of the miscarriage. That kind of um, was a good <laughs> indicator that we are trying to get pregnant. So yeah, most people do. <clears throat> um, question 18, do you want a boy or a girl? I want a baby. <laughs> we both want a healthy, healthy baby. Um, but if I had to choose, I think we both are leaning towards a boy right now. Um, just because I don't, I think most husbands and boys want boys because I think they're very scared of having a girl. Um, just from their, I guess, experiences. But, um, I have three brothers and I love, I love having brothers. Um, I love that. So I would love to have a boy first, but we would be so blessed either way. We'll probably get a girl because I said that and she'll watch this one day <laughs> and it'll come back to bite me. Uh, question 19, how long will you try before you take a break or give up? Um, I don't think we will ever give up. You know, we know we can get pregnant and so it's just a matter of timing. And to be honest, you know, it's, it's we do what we can, but it's all in God's time. And so, um, yeah, so... We're just going to keep going. <laughs> See what happens. Number 20, is your significant other on the same page as you as far as TTCing? And yes, he is so much on the same page as me, which makes each month and the ups and downs of this whole journey so much better because if we weren't on the same page, it would be very stressful and I couldn't imagine. And so we are both very much on the same page. Um, so yeah. So that's my tag. Thank you so much, Connie, for suggesting that I do that. Um, that was exciting. So hopefully you guys know a little bit more about me. If there are any questions that I didn't answer or if you have any other questions, uh, leave them in the comments below and I will, um, I will answer those. And to get back onto my main focus right now, which is my Clomid, um, excuse me. If you watched my last video, I believe I was on cycle day six. And I'm now on cycle day 12. Let me double check. Cycle day 12. So um, I finished my Clomid on day 9. And now I'm really just waiting to ovulate. So yeah, I really didn't have any symptoms on the Clomid. Um, it didn't really bother me. It bothered my stomach a little bit. Um, and a couple times I had like a super, like super intense cramp in my stomach. Kind of like the type that makes you hold on to something and kind of just breathe through it. So that happened once or twice. Um, again, that could be Clomid. That could just be me and whatever I ate. I don't know. 
So yeah, other than that, I felt great. I wasn't like super hungry, it didn't make me sick, um, but I did switch to taking it at night, which I think maybe helped, I don't know. So we'll see. So yeah, uh, my doctor said I should ovulate five or so days past uh, the ninth day, which would make that two days. Maybe it's the 13th, which, oh, it's the 13th. So I'm 13 days, sorry guys. So tomorrow should be um, the day I ovulate, but who knows. So I've been taking the OPKs and haven't got a positive one yet, but that's my plan. So I'm gonna just keep taking those. Um, we are prescribed <laughs> baby dancing every other day. And so that's what we are just focusing on. So even if I got a positive, I think on a day that we weren't supposed to, um, I'm just gonna follow what my doctor said. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. Um, again, we're super excited. We could know, um, Thanksgiving Day, whether or not we are pregnant, which would be so exciting. Um, so uh, I'm just trying to stay so positive. And I just, I love following your guys' journey and just seeing how you guys are doing. I love the dialect tag. I might have to do that um, this week as well because I think that's a very cute. I saw that Maddie did it um, and a couple other girls. And so I want to do that as well. But I wanted to update you guys first. So. Yeah, there's my update. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below. Um, if you've been on Clomid, uh, definitely comment. Let me know how, how it went for you, how you feel, um, and if you're pregnant <laughs> or have a baby, that would be awesome. So anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up, head to work. So I hope you guys are having an awesome day, a great week. Um, it's getting cold here, so I'm getting in the kind of holiday spirit, so. Uh, yeah, it's been awesome. So again, I will talk to you guys soon. I will update you guys soon and hopefully uh, again a BFP at the end of this month. So hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk with y'all soon. Bye.